So very good evening. Uh, my name is Priyanka I'm not, and I am from Manupatra. So Manupatra, as many of you would know, pioneered online legal research in India and has been the go-to legal research, analytics and visualization tool since the year 2000. Building on our knowledge and expertise for over 21 years in uh, delivering legal solutions by leveraging technology, uh, Manupatra has conceived and developed my case, a practice management solution for law practices and corporate legal teams. My case is a SaaS product designed for lawyers, law firms, corporate legal teams, and domain professionals. It enables teams to collaborate and communicate seamlessly across locations, offices, and time zones through a single unified platform. In the course of development of my case, uh, we encountered um, we encountered firsthand that due to the pandemic, many lawyers had to redefine their dig digital strategies, invest in new technologies, processes, and people much before they would have otherwise. The crisis accelerated digital transformation at many organizations. However, many are still struggling to establish and enact a holistic enterprise vision for change. So while transformation is imperative, there are many stories that we hear of digital transformation gone wrong or budget spent on adoption of new technology only to be found too cumbersome that you had to revert back to original having gotten nowhere. And this understandably then results in hesitation at every stage as far as adopting digital goes. My presentation today covers one, uh, various aspects that a law practice should factor in their exercise of enabling digital transformation to ensure that it is successful. And second, what can be a good starting point for a law practice and corporate legal teams? So digital transformation has become an existential imperative. And at this point, it's not about organizations choosing to transform. It's more about deciding possibly how to transform for its success. So let's begin with saying, what is digital transformation? So digital transformation in simple terms is the integration of digital technology into all areas of a business, changing how they operate. And it is also a cultural change that requires organizations to rethink old operating models, to experiment more, taking failures in its stride and become more agile in their ability to respond. So it would not be wrong to say that, you know, uh, digital transformation is as much about technology as it is about people. So where do you begin with, you know, what are the aspects? The first number one is define what digital means to your organization. Digital can mean different things to different people. To one person, it may mean going paperless. To another, it might, uh, another might think of data analytics and artificial intelligence. Another might picture agile teams. And yet another might think of radical house cleaning of redundant or, conf or conflicting systems. Second is have clear goals. Don't do it for the sake of it. You know, don't be under the pump just because everyone around seems to be getting onto the digital bandwagon. Do an internal assessment, identify the gaps and pain points and how these can be mitigated using technology or solutions which use technology. Now, just to give an example, you know, if, if you have, you know, when we say have clear objectives uh, and um, having an objective need to have a paperless office is way too broad and in many ways ambiguous. Uh, compare it to an objective where it, wherein you define it that, you know, we want to create a centralized repository of all closed cases, which is accessible to authorized users. Then you get a focused objective towards which the entire team works. Now, defining what you're hoping to achieve with your digital transformation initiative will bring about clarity across the organization, help to educate and inform all the stakeholders, make the evaluation of the uh, exercise as you go along objective at each stage and will assist in course correction if required. The next point uh, I would suggest is start small, you know, do what we call in our parlance, do a proof of concept, uh, identify the low hanging fruits, the early stage projects, start with few processes of the organization's operations and move on from there instead of shaking up the entire operations. The positive results which are achieved can become a catalyst then to lead the change for bigger solutions and overcome the initial resistance from amongst the team or any quarters. Also, any setback can be course corrected before the process is mapped on a larger project. For example, you know, start with moving one matter to the cloud instead of moving all the matters or move only the closed and the archive matters to cloud platform. 
let the team experience the convenience of using a single unified platform uh, you know accessing documents anytime from anywhere let them exp uh, experience the advantages so that you have a buy in from the team so get a buy in from the team is the next halt uh, successful digital transformation requires a cross functional and an all hands on the deck approach i mean there needs to be a consensus at the outset in terms of the why i mean why are we doing it without the why people typically retreat and keep their heads down you know they focus on themselves and the deliverables which creates internal silos and silos are the enemy of an agile and collaborative organization so clearly convey the objective rationale and goals of the transformation strategy to the team a clearly defined objective helps to highlight the advantages of the change or new introduction and what the new introduction will bring about and how in return it will assist each member it is critical to ensure that everyone is on the same page at the beginning and understands the organizational challenges as well as those facing their respective teams or departments the next aspect is the leadership buy in now these days organizational models and cultures in today's time no longer necessarily rely on top down systems and thus we are seeing that organizations operate from the bottoms up as well thus if the top management is not leading the digital transformation initiative do not assume that the management will be convinced of the benefits so what do you do to ensure that all are on the same page over communicate and articulate not just what you're trying to achieve but the problem that you're trying to solve all stakeholders need to be on board with the transformation strategy and business goal uh, i think the organization at the top needs to be working on getting an organizational dna into a digital first mindset uh, you know which basically is marked by a continuous improvement in mindset a sense of always upgrading building better systems and processes improving commercial relationships etc and mind you this is an ongoing process with no cut off date getting the right people to do it cannot stress more upon it uh, we often hear people say you know our processes are unique we will do it ourselves we will build it ourselves it's digital transformation how hard can it be simply put many organizations decide to embark on a major transformation alone however with new technologies faster pace and execution are becoming the norm and thus specialized help can be a game changer so identify the right technology partners and consider them as an integral part of your execution strategy be realistic why do i say that now since since technology is fast paced you know there is a tendency to set terribly ambitious deadlines and desire over inflated outcomes heed also needs to be given to recognize the employees fear of being replaced with tech tools so at the end of the day it's about it's equally about people right so we need to be humane we need to be realistic in our goals so remember digital transformation will look different for every organization thus define what digital means to your practice sometimes it may mean walking away from long standing business processes in favor of relatively new practices that are still evolving a strong technology foundation acts as a backbone yes leadership and culture are at the heart of the concept it is understandable that the shift to new legal technology can be overwhelming at first but with trained experienced professionals leading the way using tools that enable collaboration communication and task management the change to legal technology can be smooth and convenient so what can it what it may mean for the legal professionals now law stepping point is a transition from lawyer centricity to customer focus i mean this involves a series of shifts that include you know for lawyers to become more proactive instead of reactive to use data for decisions instead of relying on gut uh, you know looking at a diverse work workforce instead of a homogenous only lawyer workforce uh, you know focus on output instead of input and more flat organizational structures in, instead of hierarchical structures attributes that we may be looking at in future are collaboration teamwork emotional intelligence cultural awareness curiosity agility adaptability and a customer first mindset that brings me to the second part you know so what is a good point to start so as an application of the above analysis uh, you know a practice management using cloud is one of the best starting points of adopting uh, digital transformation for legal operations i mean wherein what what 
a cloud based saas product will do is that there's no upfront capital investment there's no development or build up required uh, you know the uh, you can subscribe to flexible plans and scale up for features as you go along or as you find the requirement and the utility increase or decrease the number of user licenses in tandem with the team sizes so why is legal industry looking to adopt digital now these are some of the common pain points you know ge geographically dispersed teams communication gap and inconsistent workflow information overload accessibility and search and scattered information i mean if we were to define them more minutely this could mean lack of visibility and manual tracking you know missed dates and deadlines uh, not being able to find the right document at the right time lack of matrix and data to analyze communication across multiple mediums so these are few of the common pain points that we heard from everyone now what can a practice management solution do it basically gives you a single unified platform you know so there is a single funnel workflow to handle all requests right from intake till disposal it gives you an instant visibility into status of everything so end to end visibility into every process it creates a cross functional collaboration one point tracking of progress bottleneck staff capacity and expertise uh, you know it makes your organization data informed legal team so again you're not relying on gut but you're relying on data to make decisions do more with less increase efficiency and productivity so as i said my case is a saas based solution which is for legal practices corporate legal departments transaction and advisory teams dispute resolution and project management litigation management is one of the uh, solution uh, wherein you can do matter management document management task management litigation tracking and discovery expense and invoice management the corporate legal solution as part of the corporate legal solution which is there for the corporate legal teams it starts from the request management which and once the requests uh, get to uh, convert into matter then you um, you can manage the matter through the entire life cycle document management expense and task management then there is a separate uh, module altogether for notice management uh, wherein you can handle you know you can uh, basically handle bulk notices send and receive notices there's an integrated workflow with effective tracking of milestones a central repository of all documents notices replies rejoinders uh, there is an integration of the notice matter and invoice and of course it comes in with the built in alerts reminders and reports which is extremely critical what my case does is that it brings about client and counsel collaboration so if you're a law practice uh, you know you can make your uh, focus can be client servicing if you are a corporate legal team you're looking at uh, you know collaboration with your external counsel or uh, your retainer cons consultants etc uh, there is an authorized easy file sharing reduced reliance on email and text uh, there is both web and mobile access personalized real time any anywhere anytime access and automated alerts so how secure is my case three backups bank grade ssl security 256 bit encryption during transmission and hosted on microsoft azure makes sure that all your data is safe and secure uh my case comes integrated with various legal tools which you require on a daily basis uh, be it manupatra integration and ocr engine comparing documents a global search uh, digital signature bundling of pdf conflict check and it's integrated with dropbox one drive google drive that you may already be using so that's all about uh, you know my case from our side and uh, about digital transformation trust uh, this would be helpful and uh, thank you for this opportunity